Welcome to Linux Hints YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about array reversals in C programming language. So without any further wait, this is going to be a very short video. So we have an array of six elements. Let's fill up this array with the following integer values. Let's say eight, nine, six, five, two, one. What we want to do is that we want to write a function or we want to write some code that would reverse this array. That means that after running the code, our array should look like something of such sort with the elements being 1, 2, 5, 6, 9 and 8. So what is the logic or algorithm that we are going to use over here? We are simply going to use swapping algorithm. So we have two cases. First one is where we have an array with odd length. And the second one is that when we have an array of even length. If you look at your screens right now, we have an array of five elements. What we want to do is that we want to replace the first element with the last element. The second element with the second last element. And for the middle point, in case of an odd length array, we don't want to swap it with anything. In case of an even length array, we want to swap in the first value with the last value, second value with the second last value, and the third value with the fourth value. Without any further wait, let's just jump inside the code. The first thing that we need to do is we need to declare the function that we are going to be creating. So for this code, we are going to be creating two functions. One we will use to print out the array and the other one that we will use to reverse the array. So let's define these uh, functions. For the reverse function, I'm going to define it as and for the print function, I'm going to define it as another void function with the name print which is going to take up another integer array with another argument which is going to be the length which is also is going to be of the type integer. Now let's code out this function first. Let's code out the print function. So our print function is going to consist of a loop which is going to start from integer index 0. It is going to be less than the length and for the increment I'm going to use I++. We know how to traverse through arrays using loops. To make it format a little bit I'm also going to add uh, two more printf statements. And for the reverse function, I'm going to code out my algorithm. So what do we need to reverse a, uh, an array or to reverse an integer array? First of all, we need a temporary variable. So I'm going to create a temporary variable and then I'm going to traverse through the whole array. So to traverse through the whole array, I'm going to create a for loop with integer i being the index starting from zero going up to half of the length. Remember we're going only half because we don't want to go to the last index value and then keep swapping the positions because that would give us our main array back to us. So we have just remembered the fact that we have to go to the half of the length of the actual array. And then we use i++ as an increment operator for our index value. So for every iteration of loop, the first thing that I want to do is that I want to store the first value in the index or the value that is I'm currently referencing to in the temporary variable. Now that I've stored the ith element in the temporary variable, I want to change the value at the ith index with the last value, meaning that if it's the first index, then I want to replace it with length minus one. If it is the second index, then I want to replace it with length minus two. So for that, I'm going to use length minus one to get the last index or the last index value that has con that contains an element and then I want to minus ith value from that. Similarly for that n minus one value which is the length minus ith value I want to store in the value that I had previously placed inside the temporary variable. This is a rather simple case for swapping out values or reversing values in our array. So now that we have coded our print function and the reverse function, we can head inside the main function and create an array. So I'm going to create a simple array. Let's give it some simple values like one, two, three, four, five. And then for the length of the array, I'm going to use integer n. I'm going to use a built-in function that is the size of, and then I'm going to pass an array. But this size of contains the byte sizes. So I don't want the byte sizes, rather I want the number of elements inside this array. So I use the size of array divided by the size of the element inside the array. So I'm going to just take the first element that would give us the size required to store an integer value. And then we want to pass on this 
array that we just created into our reverse function. So I'm going to pass on this array along with its length. And to print it out, I'm going to pass on this array again after reversing it to our print function. To view the whole code snippet, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So we have our reverse function that takes our temporary variables, swaps the value using the temporary variable and reverses the array. Then we have our print function that prints our array onto the screen. And within the main function, we are initializing and declaring our an integer array. And then we are finding out the length of that array, passing that array to our reverse function and then printing it out using the print function. Remember to use the print function that we created, not the printf function that comes with the C programming language. So now if we try executing this code, we should have our array in reverse order. And there you go. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So our array was 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And now our array is 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. And if we simply change in the value like 6, 7, 8 and make it an even length array. And then we re-execute this code. As you can see, our code is now dynamic and deals with every type of array that we put in, whether it is an even length array or an odd length array. So that was it for reversal of arrays in C programming language. Hope you learned something useful today. So stay tuned to Linux Hint's YouTube channel to learn more about C programming language in detail.